Hello, welcome to today's video. So it's been a while since I've posted any videos and that's because I've been doing yard work and nobody wants to see videos of me trimming hedges and trees. So <laughs> we've got uh, the bi-directional buck boost converter. I had a bunch of emails asking me to uh, what the progress is on this. Uh, I don't, people are interested in it for some reason. Um, so uh, a bunch of parts came in. So before I was limited to 400 volts, uh, I got a uh, 550 volt cap 1000 microfarad. That'll be the output capacitor. And the input capacitor will be this guy, which is a 100 volts, uh, 18,000 microfarad capacitor. And we're going to be, uh, nominal voltage will be 48 volts, and we're going to be stepping up to uh, 500. So that is the uh, goal for this project. We're using a Prius inductor. And this is the uh, IGBTs and heatsink out of a, uh, a DMOC445 controller, or UMOC445 controller. And uh, eventually I'll cut this apart. We're going to get rid of this guy. So this cap will come out. Uh, this cap will go there. And then this one will be right here. And I'll cut this off. And we'll get rid of these two IGBTs. And that's where the... Uh, this DMOC adapter will sit over on that side. And the uh, inductor will stay here because that lines up with the um, power cables that come in and out of it. So I think that'll work. Um, other stuff that I've been working on, uh, hardware wise, uh, see I got this, I made this little perf board, and you can see it's got little holes in there. And that's for these brackets. And so we're going to use this existing, this is one of the existing bracket holes, right? So that'll go there, uh, that'll get, this will get bolted to that, this will be on the other side, right, like that, and then the whole thing will get, I'll drill and tap a new hole there, and that'll hold the electronics uh, for the gate driver. Uh, you can see I've got this cut in here, that is for voltage, uh, so I don't short across, uh, should be rated for about a thousand volts or so. And. So I got those, and then uh, the mounting hardware for it. Uh, I pulled the two um, gate drivers, the Mitsubishi M5796 2L gate drivers uh, from another board. I've also pulled, these are the little connectors that fit on these uh, tabs. And I always get this question, uh, they're all shorted together because uh, these are IGBTs, the gates are very static sensitive, so by shorting them together, you prevent them from uh, accidentally uh, blowing up. Same with the capacitors. These can build up a charge on them and then give you a really nasty zap, especially up at 500 some volts. So by um, tying them together, with it's just solder that keeps them from building up a charge and or zapping you. You know, you go to grab it, boom. Um, let's see what else. So yeah, these are all uh, 600 volt uh, fast diodes that have been pulled from stuff. I've got some 2.2 uh, ohms gate drive resistors, which I'm going to use with these guys. And of course, DMOC adapter. Uh, I've got the two contactors. If you remember the schematic, I have an input capacitor contactor and output contactor. There'll also be a pre-charge resistor and uh, I'll probably use on the high side IGBT control, solid state relay, and same on here for the pre-charge. And then these two are EV200 contactors. So those should be pretty good. Um, what else do you got? Uh, transformers. These ones are left over from the DMOC adapter. I'm going to use that to develop our uh, isolated power supplies to run the uh, gate drivers. And then all of these are parts necessary. So we got some 0.1s. We got some 30 volt zeners. We got a bunch of 47 mics capacitors. Uh, good old uh, LM317 and the LM337, so we got positive and negative voltage regulators adjustable so they can generate the, um, these guys need a positive 15 volts and negative 9 volts, so we'll generate those, and uh, 18 volt zeners to protect the gates on the MOSFETs, or on the IGBTs, and 1.2 kilovolt uh, 1 amp diodes. These are for the saturation detection circuit that's built into these. Um, actually, I can show you over here. Let's see if I move the mouse here. 
this is the uh, gate driver circuit. Um, there's obviously two of them. And so this transformer right here coming in, the, um, uh, the DMOC adapter actually has a, uh, see that transformer down there on the bottom, has a uh, driver circuit for that already. So what we're going to do is use that to generate the isolated supplies. So we're going to come out of this transformer, it's push-pull, 12 volts in, get the TPWM legs, they're disconnecting to ground, the alternating. So that'll develop, uh, you can see that's across two coils, and the output is across four coils. That These um, little transformers are hexapath. They have uh, six coils in them that are isolated, so you can hook them up however you want. They'll, that'll give us a two-to-one step up. So 12 volts here will become, after we go through the bridge rectifier, we'll have 24 volts here and negative 24 volts here. We go through our adjustable regulators to get the resistors get you 15 volts and negative 9 volts. So that will provide power to that big box there is the gate driver. And that, you can see the 15 volts and negative 9 volts going to that. And then everything else is pretty much protection. We've got um, these two 18 volt Zener diodes are to protect the gate. The gate can only handle 20 volts, so that'll, if there's a um, inductive spike or a pulse or something on here or any ringing that comes through here that'll protect the gate from being blown up. I got a 2.2 ohm resistor that's the recommended value from this gate driver for this IGBT and we've got those already. Uh, this uh, 30 volt Zener and this 1.2 kilovolt diode here are part of the uh, saturation detect circuit in here so if this guy's off then you have a huge voltage across here and that's what this is protecting against. So we could have up to 500 volts, right? So this will protect that, uh, this circuit. And then if, for some reason, I tell this guy to be on, and so this guy shorted the ground, so it, it'll connect that side, that side, so it's passing current. If the other side of this guy, if this guy's dead shorted, or there's a, a conduction path that goes straight through, that'll cause the current in here to go really, really high and develop a very high voltage across the entire thing. And that voltage gets sensed by, there's actually a negative, uh, this negative current goes through this way, and it gets red at this point. So when this guy's on, this top point here should be connected to ground, or connected to this side, and that won't trip the short circuit detect. Now if I'm telling it to be on, and this guy's conducting, he's pulling a lot of current, this voltage across here will actually start rising up, and when that happens, this short circuit detector gets tripped and it starts this timer and it shuts everything down. So that'll protect the IGBT from a dead short. And I think there might be a video. If you look back through all the videos that I've posted, there's one where uh, one of the IGBTs in a, I think it was on a UMOC 445 that I was working on, there was a short on one of the legs and so every time it turned on, it made this horrible squealing noise, and that's because it's sitting there it's being told to turn on full power. It's getting uh, hit, <laughs> and then this guy's shutting down, and it just sits there and oscillates, because this is like a one millisecond delay or something like that. It sends up oh, about one kilohertz, just making a horrible squealing noise. This is dumping, trying to dump hundreds of amps through there, or thousands, depending on what, what's going on. But anyways, so all of those parts are right here to build that. They're going to get built onto this um, perf board and we'll have that mounted in there and I think that's pretty much the entire update. Oh and then uh, if the gate is shut down then it, this uh, opto isolator tells me. So this is like 3600 volt isolation here and then we'll have isolation over here. Um, these are 600 volt diodes so we're trying to keep everything isolated. Eventually, uh, the DMOC adapter, um, it's all isolated too, so its inputs are all isolated. Uh, even the A to D channels are all, analog inputs are isolated. So to measure the output voltage, I'll just divide this down. And uh, yeah, that should work out pretty good. So when it's done, we're targeting about 500 volts, 20 amps. Uh, that's really limited by, based on, uh, I couldn't get a 600 volt so I got 550 so we don't want to we want to stay around five below 500 volts 
just to give it a little bit of margin of error. And then if I'm putting out 20 amps at 500 volts, I'm pulling about 200, <laughs> 210, 220 amps at 48 volts. So well within the spec of, uh, of the IGBTs and of the, uh, the Prius inductor so, and, and the contactors, so we should be good. So that's the design. Um, so yeah, it's just an update, and uh, eventually I'll have all of this soldered on here, and then this guy will get mounted right like that, and we'll just be driving this uh, IGBT. Anyways, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for watching.